What's up guys welcome to tech tips and today we are setting up this Netgear router as a NAS while connecting the western digital hard drive to this router. Uh, now if you want to access files in your home on your TV or on your computer there's no better way than this. If you're planning to stream 4k you better go go off with a dedicated PC for local streaming or a real NAS but for normal file transfers from one device to another uh, from 1080p streaming uh, to just transferring files between your devices this is way to go if you have a router which already has uh, an USB port at the back uh, then you are good to go otherwise you could buy a router I will leave the links in the description below of this router as well as a TP-Link router you can easily get this uh, in any router about 3000 rupees so make sure to check that and you can just follow the steps in this video to set up your own NAS server and access files from all of your devices. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys let's start configuring our router as a NAS so just go to your desktop open a new browser and now you need to log in to your router so it's different for every router for Netgear it's simple as a, as router login.net as you can see uh, but for other routers uh, you need to probably put your IP address for most it's 192.168.1.1 uh, but for example in this netgear if it's not router login.net is not working uh, You can just go ahead go to the network preferences Go to the advanced now. This is for Mac, but it will be similar for Windows as well. Uh, you need to go into uh, Into what into Wi-Fi networks and there you could find the IP address So whatever your IP address just add one at the beginning that would be your router. So see this is my IP so be it any uh, be it any router be it TP-Link or be it Netgear if you go through IP route it will definitely work some have like like Netgear has router login to net TP-Link has something shortcuts as well so it's, it's your choice which one you want to select so I have logged into my router uh, as you can see this is in Netgear R6120 I will leave the links in the description below if you want to buy this router up this is nice I'm using it quite a while now and it got water damage as well but it's now restored so first of all, uh, the function in this is called ready share and TP-Link it's called as USB sharing uh, on Netgear it's called ready share so you need to find the options uh, once you connect your hard drive to your router you can see this available folders you can see my uh, volume name is Akshay WD HDD so the Western Digital Hard Drive and it's a 1 terabyte in which 140GB is free now we'll just click on edit and it says to share your files via DLNA, UN, UPnP, yes, there is universal plug and play. Using the media server function, at least one shared folders must be read access with all no password. Uh, this might seem complicated, but don't worry, it's easy. Uh, so all I have to do is select the sharing method. So it's network neighborhood slash Mac share. Uh, so this is for Windows and Mac. If you want to share in Windows and Mac, you can use SMB. Okay. Uh, and you can also have admin password protection as well. Uh, or else you can go through HTTP uh, as well as you can also have uh, using this this address okay you can even access it outside your home via HTTPS via the internet uh, but for that you need to uh, you need to have a static IP because these IP will keep changing so it doesn't make sense that you find the IP every time now this is actually 1721.1 is the local IP so as of now it will be accessible but once the IP changes it will get changed so you need a static IP for this function so we have we will just select the neighborhood Mac and uh, Mac share uh, this is Windows and Mac share the SMB server uh, we don't want any password protection for that uh, for HTTPS we are not using this okay uh, and we are also not using FTP you could share FTP as well uh, I will share a local FTP but I won't share the global FTP so uh, again make sure you choose which one is feasible to you I just want to access it locally and I'm not putting any password if you want to put any password you just tick here 
now why i want to use password because uh, some devices like television or some phones uh, if you use uh, say password it doesn't log in like my mac is not able to log in if i use password for some reason that's something to do with the smb1 so you need to first enable smb1 support in your mac or windows in windows there's uh, advanced windows settings in which you need to enable smb1 version 1 and then only it will work so it's better you don't have a password it's much easier in that way and again they need to be connected to your wi-fi network so you will anyway they need to put the password so network neighborhood max share i have enabled that and i have enabled ftp while i am not using any password for any of those for https password is enabled but i am not using it uh, so i gotta edit the name as well so let's name it as share name i will name it as akshay's nas okay read access no password write access no password write apply as you can see ready share akshay's nas and no password no password and i will just click apply you can select the workbook work group name if you want otherwise you can just update the settings that's it you, you are done basically now it will update the settings and let's see if you are able to access it or not so let's go ahead let's open finder on windows you can just open file explorer and there in the network tab you could see ready share just click on that as you can see connected guest no login required and you can see the volume name as well there you have it all files are just here so you can access it any device as well as let let me let me transfer some file so i will open downloads folder so my desktop is a little bit complicated isn't it so what i will do is just a minute so this is my nas and this is my downloads folder uh let's transfer see let's open downloads now this is a little bit slow because it's usb 2 usb 2 it's not even 2.1 uh so the transfer speed is also slow uh, if you have usb 3.0 in your router then it's good it'll be faster and if you have an ssd it will even be faster but don't expect great speed if you want to transfer really large files if you want to stream 4k then it's better you go with a dedicated nas server instead of just using your router as a nas server as you can see the download folder is quite huge so it's taking a lot of time to just index it as you can see the files appeared so i will just drag and drop one file uh, let me drag a ppt okay i need to copy it i don't want to move it so copy and i will paste it here as you can see uh it was quite fast i mean okay it was 8.7 mb but as you can see it's working fine for some reason if i put password it doesn't connect to my mac it used to connect on my windows computer only you need to enable the smb version one uh, otherwise it will just work and now you can share files on all of your devices so for android device and ios device you can also connect with the same steps uh, of course you can use their default app say for this is a me device so you're using me file explorer if it's a samsung device you can use samsung file explorer and blah 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 uh, again you can go always go to its file explorer just go to the mode uh, add a remote device and you could see an option called lan or smb just click on it and it should scan and connect to your nas router but for some reason as new is buggy it's not working you can always go ahead go to the play store and download the cx file explorer now earlier i was using es file explorer pro pro i have like i paid for the poor i paid for the pro version because to remove ads and to have some good features but it's kicked out of the play store and i don't have access to it anymore so i'm using this is a free version as well it comes with your as fully smb support and you can always go to say network uh, you can uh, access from network or at a new location uh, let's click new loca new re re location 
and just select remote and now you can option as SMB, FTP, SFTP or web tape. You will use SMB. It will ask you to enter credentials. If you can skip it, you can just go to new location, remote, local network and let it scan. So as you can see, it's scanned for ready share. And as this is no username password, we just click OK. No MS. There you have it. Our NAS router is connected and we have all the files right away now you can transfer files on your phone uh, again you can also download in this phone and access it on any devices so that's pretty much for this video hope you liked it if you like it this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to the tech show if you haven't already while if you have already subscribed make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each and every time new videos go live here on the tech show thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now